After completing artwork creation and testing it with the old sprite data structure, it was time to create a new bitmap asset with a binary image representation to support big canvas sizes. My asset system has evolved a lot over the years. It goes all the way back to 2015 when I created a custom sprite editor, which would allow me to easily customize character colors. In 2016 I started dreaming of using 3D assets in my pixel engine. I didn't take my prototype further, but a placeholder mesh asset was defined in anticipation of things to come, and a parent class was created to have the palette code shared between 2D and 3D visual assets. It wasn't until two years later that I created the mesh editor, now also known as 3D Paint. Finally, in 2018, a common asset class was abstracted to provide the undo-redo functionality to the new audio asset responsible for playing sounds in the game intro. Fast forward four years into the future where I'm fitting the bitmap asset into the existing architecture. To familiarize myself with the details after being away from the code for so long, I made a class diagram to capture the current state of the code. I usually sketch diagrams in my notebook, but trying to design and especially redesign a big system is much easier with a specialized tool. The free and open source app Draw.io is very handy in this regard and is also available online at diagrams.net if you want to try it out yourself. Class diagrams show the distribution of information and functionality, but don't capture the flow of execution in time. In a complex system like this, there is a lot of extra information to keep in your head, so I make it easier for myself by writing down all the steps that need to happen on the client and the server. I can then use this to double check my design and trace the execution across classes to make sure all the steps can be performed. After all of the requirements were covered and I was happy with the architecture, it was very fast and straightforward to turn the diagram into code. I could focus on writing the algorithms that implement each method, already knowing where all the data would come from and which other methods I am supposed to talk to. The code still needs to be debugged and I'm yet to refactor the editor to use this architecture, so You'll have to come back in two weeks to see if planning things in advance actually paid off.